Hello everyone, I am RS and I will be showing you a Python build in Elite Dangerous Versions. So uh, I am in my Python right now in uh, Docking Bay in Carling Port and I will be showing you my build and my prior proof selection which are where my guns are and which will make it easier to see how you need to put the gun. So, for starters, my hardpoint. I have three uh, large uh, 3C multi cannons, which are really handy to kill um, any ship that comes by. And just the B two C beam lasers are really just for the enemies that I can't get my hands on really fast. They were like beagles just fly over the ship so you can't really get them so fast but with these beam lasers they really do loads of damage they do use lots of a lot of power so that's the only problem but uh, I can handle it for now my ship, my ship isn't completely upgraded yet but I will get there see I'm trying to get some money but it's not working as I planned I have one k kill one scanner because yeah, I'll if you go bounty hunting, kill one scanner is always handy. One shaft launcher. Um, that's probably because if I try to run or I see that um, an anaconda or something big is targeting me, I don't want it to to fire it full force on me. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, two sh two A grade uh, shield boosters. That's just to get my shields a bit higher because I don't want to fall and to let them fall out. Um, a 6B power plant. Why I do the 6B is because the um, 7B is a lot of more expensive, but I'm trying to go there, don't worry. Uh, and I had the 7B, but then I saw that the 6B was less expensive and also better. I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna take the 6B, but I'm going for the B. That's just really expensive for me. <laughs> then, yeah, just 6B thrusters, uh, 5C frameshift fires, that's just, I think that's, yeah, I should go for that actually. But as you can see, my power is a bit, mm, a bit upgraded, I know. Uh, a 7D power, disturb power distributor. But you can also you need really need to upgrade that to 7B. But I would also recommend that you first buy a better power plant because you can see with me that my power is gonna be uh, yeah not so good and uh, my jump frames also gonna go down. Yeah, and just like regular life support uh, sensors that I can also upgrade, but I haven't done it yet. And a 5C fuel tank, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Okay. Now for optional internals, I just have one uh, 6A shield cell bank, I want to have two, but as as I said earlier, my power plant is just going to um, fail on me, so I'm gonna keep it for one for now. Uh, just some cargo racks um, for machines, for transport machines, it's also very handy. A 6B shield generator. As I said earlier, I don't want my shields to go down, so I bought the best shields I can get my hands on right here. Uh, a 4D hull reinforced package. That is really just if a shield still go down, which is highly unlikely with your shield cell bank and your extra shield boosters. You have your extra hull reinforcement package. They won't ki they won't kill you that fast. Trust me. Uh, a fuel scoop, obviously, if you go somewhere to transport something and your fuel is on the flow, yeah, fuel scoop, really handy. A standard rocket computer, I know I should be able to dot myself, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, a planetary approach suit, yeah, how to clean, yeah, it's it's just a tank. Yeah, um, that was it. Now for my fire groups. I have uh, the beam lasers and the multi cannons on one slot. 
adds because the beam lasers, which they are turreted, so if I fire them once, they will just fire the on the enemy and they will keep firing until the enemy dies or is out of range. So then it doesn't matter that your multi cannons are also on the same slot because if you fire one time you just if you click one time with the, your left mouse button or your right mouse button or it's up to you. I don't know what works best. Um it will only just fire what the beam lasers from the multi because the multi cannons they need some charge rate before they fire. So it doesn't matter, you don't have to put them on too, it's just not it's not a problem. Also, what I really like about the beam laser turrets, if you just attack a bounty hunter, you s you're for an example in an asteroid belt, in a high... Um, I don't even know what it's called. Asteroid belt. Not belt, but high belt. resource extraction site yeah that's it uh, if you're there and there are lots of cops around and you don't want to shoot them because the cops will um, the police will start to kill you too that's what's really nice about the turrets if the turrets accidentally hit a police officer a police ship or something don't worry the, the police won't kill you it's just that that's what's nice on the turrets because otherwise I really had it too like if you had some beam lasers and a, l a random uh, police um, eagle just comes through your laser and is like oh no what did you do and you're like oh yes sorry the same car didn't help <laughs> you just die so I have three of them three three slots um, that's because I, have, I want my kill launch scanner my shelf launcher and my shield shell bank on a different slot because yeah you can't just when you activate the kill launch scanner you don't want to activate your shelf launcher that will be pretty stupid yeah okay that's kind of it for the fire groups yeah as I said my modules I've got my thrusters on priority one and also my shield generator and my shields are also on priority one also are my um, my guns shield guns very much my kill launch scanner is on priority three because yeah I don't really need to have power when I'm in battles or something it's also headshot I'm not gonna put it on one because I don't really need that a lot. My life support and boost it. Yeah, also just gonna put that on four. And uh, if you don't really know any changes, you don't really need life support to live. Or I mean, if I inactivate it, you just don't have to. Then just yeah, um, other thing that just you can see is you can swap your your cell phone your time time and time time. Don't need to do it now. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get a better rank in the federation, which is not really working out. But I'm trying. I'm not really that good, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, my combat rank is master. And my trade rank is merchant. Uh, my combat rank is is really low. Writing a lot, I'm playing, yeah, it's about hunting a lot. And my score rank is mostly aimless. CQC rank is amateur. Yeah, I should play it more. But every time if I try to play it, it says like, oh yeah, we can't find a match. It's like, oh damn it. Yeah, I don't really visit the empire much. That's because it's really far away. And not really, I cannot play it. Doing a side quest here just to get. Just to get like one million of bounty, it's just too far. Um, last thing I want to show you is the character map. I'll show you quickly where I am. I am playing in a private group, but that's all right. I will, I will probably when my Python is a bit more updated, will go to open bro, so I can travel with you guys if it matters. But yeah, uh, that was it for this first video of mine. I hope you enjoyed. And um, for those who are also playing Elite Dangerous Horizon, Life Saves Commanders, 
and thank you for watching.